hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in if you're new here my name is weena's makeup if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and watching me i am so grateful um today i just thought i'd do my everyday makeup i've literally been doing this for like two months now and it's literally my go-to obviously i added a bit of pop of color on my eyes my um, waterline don't usually do that but um i just thought i'd switch it up you know just for new content but um this is literally all i do every day um i don't like to do much eyeliner anymore if it's like every day and um yeah i just like to keep my lids my eyeshadow very very basic so i just use my bronzer and i love it it just makes me pop and you know you just put some nice lashes on and you're good to go <laughs> but um yeah i just thought i'd film this look i actually did this look yesterday but um when i went out for my friend's birthday but i just didn't have any time to film and then the foundation was just looking weird so i was just like yeah i'm gonna do it tomorrow so yeah i did it the next day i hope you guys like it i've also got new hair so this hair is from the hair venko on instagram she did my hair so nice like it's locks you see so it's locks and they are 36 inches it is so pretty like so so pretty i love it it's lightweight Ugh. Book her. I'll leave her details in the description box. You should definitely holler at her. It's a nice hairstyle for the summer, well, the summer that we do have at the moment. So I definitely recommend. So I've already gone in with my skincare. I went in with La Roche Posay for my sun cream. Use the glycerin and rose water toning and moisturizing, and that's just um, yeah my toner. When I wash my face, I go in with this first. Then I go in with this, the niacinamide. This just does not want to focus. <laughs> so I go with that after. And then I use my fave Super Facialist Vitamin C Plus Cream. So that's my skincare. So I'm gonna go in with my Fenty, Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer on my fave and my um photo finish smashbox smooth and blur for, um primers i just use this like on the outside of my face and then i'll go in with my smashbox photo um my smashbox smooth and blur primer in the like on my t-zone areas I go in with the smashbox the amount of times I have filmed this look, oh, it is just way too much. Um, every time I film it, the lighting is just off. And then my makeup just looks uneven and I hate that. So today I've tried adding um, my ring light to my, um, I've got another, I, can't, I always forget this type of light that i have but um yeah i'll probably put it down there the type of other light that i have, the two lights that i'm using so i'm using a ring light now and then i'm using my other light which is good it's so good for like photos as well it literally my pictures it's just it's absolutely changed the game changed the game so i recently bought a new foundation the um nars foundation natural radiant longwear i just recently got that and i got it in the shade marquise um i feel like i don't know it's like when i use it at first it looks way too light even though i am quite my face is quite i feel like my face is quite lighter than my, my body so I think I might have to change it. But what I've tried to do, so I have used it by itself, but I'm going to mix it with um, the Fenty foundation. Yeah, because it just wasn't, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling how it was looking. But before I go in with that, I'm gonna use the NYX Control Freak just to um, set my brows so that it's way easier when I am filling them out. 
so this look that I'm doing I actually did it yesterday because I went out for my friend's birthday um but oh the lighting so I did it yesterday because I went out for my friend's birthday um and I did start filming but it just started to look so wrong <laughs> like the, the like I said the lighting was just so bad so I just thought nope so that's all set. Oh, I love it. I love the brow set. Okay, so I'm now gonna go in with this. So I mixed it, and this is the colour that I got. Kind of like a goldenish. So I'm just gonna. So this is obviously this is the colour. Like I read that it's for golden undertones, and I have golden undertones just to like hide the dark spots. I'm just gonna take some of this your girl keeps getting spots now don't know why but like once I get a spot it just stays the time like that dark mark will stay and I used the um, the makeup revolution C13 I'm gonna use my blending brush I just I recently bought this from from raw technique techniques and it's just a crease brush but it's good to blend out so this is how it comes out let's just hope this bangs because <laughs> i got time and of course obviously because like it's it is brighter on camera it will look like this so let's just see what it says when i blend it out but another thing what i've realized with this one because obviously i used it i felt like that once i put my contour and highlight everything started to come together that's what i felt like like it started to sink in this doesn't look bad doesn't look bad today yesterday it just looked like i was so scared <laughs> i was so scared i was like what what is going on i try to keep the under eye um bare because i don't like too much product there but um today i feel to do it different so yeah so now i'm gonna go in with my kevin aquin sx 13 and I'm gonna go in with that to conceal my under eyes and I'm just using my little <laughs> my little um it's a flat concealer brush you don't really need to use much with um, the Kevin Aquarium because a literally a little goes a long way I think that should be enough do you know what I've always wanted to do? I really want to try blending out my concealer with a blending brush. Probably try and use this. Let's see how it goes. Mm. Just patting it in. And make sure to look up for this step because it helps so much. It's not bad. It's not bad. So just to like diffuse the harsh line, I'm just going to tap it in. Mmm. This is literally me just experimenting. I see so many people use like a blending brush and I'm just like, I wanna try that. I wanna try. <laughs> Kevin O'Quine is just so good. Oh gosh. It's so nice, creamy, blendable. It just does the job. Okay, so that was literally just to get a nice bright under. To be honest, if you just want if you're just like you know you just like a bright under eye and this is this can literally do the trick you don't need anything else very extra and i would definitely be doing more <laughs> um okay so now i'm gonna go in with so usually i do like to do my concealer first like all of my concealer because i'm going to add another layer but what i'm going to do i'm going to go in with my elf hydrating camo concealer satin finish 
and this is in the shade rich chocolate I'm just literally doing it like underneath my cheekbones so my cheekbones are right there I'm just going right underneath just placing the product right there and I like I love this shade of color because um, it gives me more of like a like a bronzy look which I love to go for just gonna let it sit there for a bit wait, I'm gonna wait and wait I'm gonna wait and wait I'm just gonna go in with my blending brush And then I'm blending this into my hairline. You see? This brush is really bad. It is literally all the like the hairs are just coming off. Absolutely coming off. Oh girl, you see that brown? I look like literally I'm on holiday now. <laughs> so it doesn't leach it doesn't it doesn't leach. <laughs> it doesn't literally need to be as clean. Um because you're gonna like clean it up and stuff later. So now what I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with my Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer in butterscotch. That's about it. So I'm just gonna let that it in that so is cooking up i'm gonna go in with my brow pro micro pencil and this is from where is this from? from rimmel london this is my fave when i mean i do not like to do my life my brows on camera but ever since i got the nyx brow gel I absolutely changed my life so i'm good so what i do i don't go all the way to the front I literally stop here and also I don't go to the front as well then I'll just like brush it out so that's literally all I do because I don't I really don't like dark brows anymore um, not that I did before, but I don't like the harsh look. That's about it. Literally, I try not to take too much time on my brows. Go in with my Makeup Revolution concealer. This is what I used earlier just to um, hide the dark spots in C13. And this is what I'm going to use to clean up my brows. So, um, the, the Makeup Revolution... Um, concealer it dries out so quick so I have to literally do it as soon as and I'm just using my Zoeva brush my blending doesn't really have a name concealer buffer yeah I'm actually gonna try and use this to um, conceal to blend up my concealer on my under eye one day because it just seems that because when I use it for my brows, it just seems so good. So good. So I don't like it too harsh in the front. So I put the leftover concealer on top. Let me try and buff this out. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. buff it out with this so that everything blends in Ooh, I'm excited okay let me try with this side so I'm like using it like, like on a flat surface uh, I'm not like dipping it no I'm literally not doing this I'm just trying to see what the difference like this side and so it's not bad I feel like it's cleaner with this than um, a beauty blender. Just 
the only thing I will say with Beauty Blender you can get into the nitty gritty like you know but apart from that the brush is really good I love it I love it to blend just so everything is together I just like to blend everything out so the concealer is kind of like blending in to the contour which just makes it more thinner you see for my base for my eyeshadow I'm just gonna put my butterscotch on top of my eyelids Ooh, set my under eye because it's not I've left it for a bit too long so I'm just gonna set it with my Huda Beauty blondie before I put my before I put my setting powder um, I just literally blend out my under eye just to make sure there's no creases And just take literally like a look because look how much comes out so i'm just gonna i usually use a different um beauty blender like a like a cleaner one i don't know why i've gone in with my other one but um yeah so just take a little bit and just dab it on your hand because a lot comes out look at that so much has come out I'm looking all ghostly. <laughs> I love setting powders. I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like the end result is always so nice because it's just like, you look at look look at this. I'm gonna blend out this concealer and I'm just taking it up into. I'm taking it to the bridge of my nose, the top. And the thing I like about this concealer, it kind of looks like my um hula toasted bronzer which i'm gonna use in my crease so yeah that's a win-win so i'm not gonna leave my nose just like this i'm not mad just gonna blend it out with my um um gonna blend it out with my mineralized skin finish in dark I didn't even reverse contour let me just do that just so that I can so this is optional you don't have to do it if you want to just you know get a clean straight line yeah so if you're kind of like finding it difficult to find where you know you need to do it <laughs> you need to smile like this and you got your work just because of my lines I'm just gonna put this all over here girl okay so so going in with my, my hula toasted bronzer I'm just gonna go in my crease and this like it kind of brings out your eyes and because obviously I contoured, it's following that same line, so it's even easier. You'll see, and it's even, oh, it's like, I didn't even do that, but I'm with it. I'm with it. But yeah, it's like it even lifted up my eyes. It's like, how can I, how? how? I, really, I literally did not do that. I don't know how that happened. So when you're like blending this part out, make sure you kind of like do it in a circle motion because obviously look now, it's all straight and you don't want to do that. So obviously that's why I go in with my Skin Mineralize Finish and then I just diffuse everything out so there's no like lines 
and then I just set my face I even forgot to set my nails so now I'm gonna go in with my Hula Toasted what is going what is going on? Where is my brush? Okay, I'm gonna go in my Hula Toasted and I'm just gonna use my same blending. So the bronzer is literally just to bring you know, it's to bring like some colour to your, to you. So obviously I'm going to blend that out, like, I love a blend. How can you just not even blend? That's just weird to me. So what I'm going to use to blend it out with, I'm going to use my Skin Minimalize Finish in dark again. And I'm just going to use this just to blend out the harsh lines. It just diffuses it. You don't want a harsh line. You don't want a harsh line. I'm just gonna use my Nip and Fab blusher palette, my absolute fave. Use the the perfect coral. That's literally my go-to. I think that's the lip, literally the only thing that I use here. And what I like to do, I like to go from here to now and just go up. I feel like it just brings out my um it brings out my cheeks more it brings out my cheeks more and then I just use that and go on my nose, put on my nose. With this you need to be so careful because a lot comes out. Just so that I can diffuse it just a bit. So I'm just using my Skin Minimalize Finish just to blend it out more. Then I'm gonna go in with Gold is the New Black Supreme Glow. This is getting old now, but it's such a good highlight. It's not too much. And I'm just using my Zoeva brush and yeah don't have a name for it but i think it's a precision brush she's using the same same brush to blend out everything <laughs> now i'm gonna have to do my eyelashes and my lashes from these are a bit dirty now because <laughs> I, I used it yesterday but my lashes are from fab beauty and um, I actually have a discount code, I'll put it right here so you can get some coins off. So I'm going to just put my lashes off camera and I'll be back. So I've got my lashes on from Fab Beauty. For my lower lash line, I'm just going to go in with the same um, bronzer. I'm just going to put it under. So my toasted bronzer, I'm just going to put it under my eyes. Usually I would put like... A, like a black liner or sometimes I just don't put anything because you don't really need to all the time so I kind of wanted a pop of color so I'm gonna use my Maybelline crayon coal and this is coal eyeliner and it's a like it's like a aqua blue so it's literally like this I'm just literally using it in my waterline so pretty just a pop pop of color you know sometimes switch it up so then I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal telescopic extra black you know how we do oh <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna go in with that on my lower lashes <laughs> looks like I just ate 
a sugary donut like a powdery donut and i don't and i don't know where my mouth is that's what it looks like I'm gonna go with my NYX lip liner. It's from Urban Care. I'm gonna outline my lips. And then I like to take some in. Yeah, just do like that. So in the corners, just like bring it up. I just put some here. I'm going to use the Revolution Makeup Revolution Sheer Brilliant in Turn Head Turner. Gloss is brilliant. It is ooh, so nice. So I'm just gonna put this in the middle. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going with the NYX Filler Instinct. If this is a plumping lip polish and this is in brunch drunk and just give you like a nice glittery kind of hope you guys are having a lovely weekend lovely week and i pray that you continue to have a blessed week ahead thank you again and i'll catch you in my next video see ya